All right, just got out here to Bowles Harbor. A lot of fucking people coming out this morning. Nice and cold, but the water looks good and close. I'm staying close to shore more slow, most likely here this morning. Gonna be fishing, probably start off in like 12 feet and uh, see what we can find. Same lineup as I had last time, bright colored, dark colored. They were hitting everything I just need once I found them. So I'm gonna steer away from the, uh, some guy shore fishing and then we'll see what we can figure out. But I'll let you know when we get rigged. Um, water is muddy in the river, obviously. 46 degrees, it's saying, surface temp, which is a fucking ideal. So I'm gonna go right out in front of the uh, shore here and troll between here and Luna Pier. We'll see what happens. here in front of bowls fishing about 15 feet of water marking some fish 10 to 8 10 feet down we're showing with the waves which the wind seems to be out of the south right now and the waves are kind of waves are coming out of the southeast winds changing out of the west so we got a little situation with it's a little hitting us in the side but it's not too terribly bad I have uh, three rods in the water I got two on the left one on the right they're all just different colors of bandits. I like fishing bright colors. It's a little overcast right now, it's a little early. So I'm fishing, uh, I got a couple dark ones. They're all mixed colors, custom painted bandits. So it really should be about depth and where the hungry fish are. So we're gonna see. I have, uh, I'm gonna stick it out for a while. I like staying in a little closer this time of year. So I'm at 15 feet and I'm only, I don't know, probably a mile from where Bowles, the inlet is, to get to the launch. A lot of boats hauling ass past me and all that, but we're just gonna stay on the line. We're kind of trolling, I guess you would say we're kind of trolling west right now, a little north, uh, north at from, we're trolling northeast from the southwest kind of. So, we'll see what we come up with. A lot of people making runs. We'll see if it's necessary or not. We'll know when we know. I'll let you know when we hook up. All right, we're hooked up. huge but we got two on fucking caught 
the net again. Thirteen feet of water. of school right there. 13 feet of water. Put them back out, keep trolling on this line. And then we'll go back and try to run through. I'm not gonna leave fish to find fish, I know that much. Sun just popped out. And uh, picked up two in the same fucking spot. So good news on that front. Two in the boat. So I'm running like uh, two of these rods. These are the two highest rods that just took fish. My third rod is uh, it's running about 10 feet down in 13 feet of water, and these two are running six, seven. So we're uh, high in the water column seems to be the ticket. So that's what we're gonna keep doing. But I do have a mark. I hit those up in the same spot. So we're gonna go back to that if we have to. I'm gonna jack up that other one a little bit higher. I like this shallow water fishing this time of year. I'm a big fan. Um, it just seems to be, I always have better luck in closer. A lot of guys like to run deep and I see a lot of this running 50 back. I think it's just all about finding the warmest water. And it's water tap here surface is 47 degrees. So I'm gonna get this other one out. I like, suppose so those were pretty much different colors, but uh they're customs. So like this is just a you know, I don't fucking know what this one is. Blue and chartreuse and green, whatever. I don't think it matters as much as people think it does this time of year. I think it's about getting the right bait in their face when they're hungry and finding the hungry fish. So we know for sure that spot we just went through had some hungry ones. So we're going to put this one back out again. It's kind of a shit show there. Caught two in a row. And uh, we'll see what else we can find. They weren't too huge. They're both, you know, 17, 18 inch fish fry here those are just small eaters I would say last time I was out I caught I could ever fish between like four or five pounds so we're gonna run this one I'm gonna run this one even a little bit higher I think in this 13 foot of water so I'm gonna run this one 19 back gain a foot on her and then uh there's a lot of fish I'm marking six seven eight feet down and while I do feed up people talk about their eyes being photosensitive to light, the sun's coming out. Last time I was out, it was sunnier than hell, and I was smashing them in 10 feet of water. So, what the fuck ever, you know what I mean? Caught that too for real quick. We're gonna make some adjustments and go from there. But, uh, oh shit, I can see a mud line now, the sun's coming out. It's pretty much right where we're over. So, that's where we gonna be. Two for two so far, sharp hooks, baby.
All right, so we just caught those two in the same pass. Um, I'm now at 14, almost 15 feet of water, but all these fish are like six, seven feet down. The ones that I, and I caught two at a double at the same time. They were both, it was about 13 and a half feet of water, 13, five, and I'm only fishing 20 feet behind the board with bandits, so it puts me down like six, seven feet. So I think we'll stay on the same line for maybe another 10 minutes. There's fucking boats all around us. And, uh, if we don't catch anything on the same line for another, going 1.3, 1.2 miles an hour, we don't catch anything on the same line, we're gonna go back and hit that same spot. There's obviously some hungry fish there. So I think that's what we're gonna continue to do. I haven't seen anybody else dipping that yet around me. But uh, a lot of these guys out here, it's really just about finding the hungry fish, but a lot of them are fishing too deep this time of year, I think. Well, I know, because, uh, I see a lot of guys that aren't catching fish are saying they're fishing 60, 70 feet behind the board with bandits. And uh, they're in the warmer water. The water's 46, 47 degrees right here. Uh, the wind is changing a little bit, so we're kind of trolling with the wind. But all my fish are no deeper than eight feet down, the ones that I'm marking. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep on the same line for another 10 minutes. And if there's not shit here, I'm definitely not scared to pull. These guys in front of me got one, it looks like. We're dipping in that. I'm not afraid to pull my shit and uh, head back in and run the same line again. So we'll see 15 feet of water now, 46 degrees. Beautiful day in Lake Erie. Two fish in the box, four more to go for a limit. They're not huge, but I like eating fucking walleye, so it is what it is. I'm hoping to get, I wanna catch a slob, but man, they're hard to find. They are hard to find. But if you're gonna do it, this is the body water to do it on. But. Next time we hook up, we'll check back in. All right, we're going back to that same line where I just caught fish, had that double. I'm uh, see how fast I can get rid of this, get this cooler full. All right, we're set up again. I'm right over this same spot. <clears throat> you can see I'm marking some fish there on the screen. Right over this exact same spot almost. Oh, and I already got one back. <laughs> Look at that board out there. Baby. Coming back to the same spot. Take this one slow. That was 20 back behind the board. 12 feet of water. We're not even to my mark yet, but that's a good sign. I was describing what hungry fish do. The hungry fish fucked me up. That's a good eater. giant but guess what he is legal as you can see what about them filet at 18 bunch of fish here so yeah I don't know I don't know the name of this one either but it's a purple I like purples in the spring I've always had luck on purple so I stick with what I know which is purple 
now. I'm gonna put this fucking purple back out and keep going. That one spot seems to be a hungry group of fish there. We're gonna go back 20 and hopefully get another tank. Active pot of fish. Three for three. Can't pitch so far. line goes but that was as soon as I got my shit out bam bam it listen all right we just circle back got another one inside board pretty hard same school of fish Big fatty. Same spot. 12 feet of water. Boom, let's get him set up again. Snow flurry is coming down. All right, look at this shit. Is it really fishing in March if you're not getting fucking snowed on? I don't think so. This spot's been pretty good so far, so we got four of our six that we need right here. So I'm going to troll up ahead of it, as you can see, and I'm going to turn around and come back through it again, and we're just going to keep circling over these fuckers and picking them apart until they stop biting. But we got some cloud cover, some snow, we're in some mildly green water, 12 and a half now, and uh... There's like one area, it's probably like a hundred square yard area that I've picked up all these fish in. And every single boat that just keeps going by me, I don't know how many videos I've done. They all just fucking, I saw one guy catch a fish, he's kept trolling. So they don't like reeling their shit up, they're too lazy to do it. I'm fishing three rods and I'm fishing 20 feet behind the board. It takes about two, two minutes to set up, if that. Less than two minutes to reel in. So I got no problem with it. So we're gonna go past. And then we're gonna go zoop, right through again. And see what we can do. Great morning though, almost to a limit, one man. And that's how I like to do my fucking fishing. Get in and get out. This is the last day I got for a couple weeks. <clears throat> um, I got other shit going on. So it's the last day I can get out. So might as well just get the ones I can. I wanna catch some big fish, but if I can, I can, if I can, I can't. That one was nice, it's probably 23. Big fat fatty. But uh, the rest of them are just good eating size walleye. So we're going to turn around here in a minute, 12 feet of water, and zip right back through, and try to get more fucking fish. Caught number five in the same spot. One more to my limit and I'm gone. We're going to keep trolling over these same fish. There's a, a nice school of fish underneath us here. Caught on my outside board. Purple, same thing. 
one mile an hour is a little bit slower, so I think I'm gonna slow it down a touch before we get too wild here. fish to find more fish. You got fish? Fish those hundred motherfuckers. It doesn't really matter what color. I've caught them on everything, but this is the one. This is taking like three today. Just outside. Going through this same fucking spot. This same fucking spot. That one almost got off. He was on, thank God for sharp hooks. He was on the very, very last. So many of these people out here right now. I just see a guy right over where I'm fishing. The water I'm on. He trolled right through that spot, caught one fish when I had already gone through it, caught two. And as soon as I, he went right through and caught one, they just kept fucking trolling. So I don't know. I'm just not a proponent of leaving fish to find fish. If they're there, they're there. You fucking catch them. They're hungry. I'm gonna check this other inside board here this time. Let's see uh 13 feet of water going one mile an hour. Oh here's a what the fuck is this? Is this a fish on top? What the hell this is? It's like a gizzard shad or some kind of fucking freshwater shad. It was right ahead of us there. I tried netting, I almost had it. Hanging out the surface all fucked up. Clearly sickly or something, but we're real this inside board in. See uh, what the haps is with it. I, I caught it kind of coming in with the other fish, so we'll see what happens here with this one. There might be something fucked up with it. All right, so everything is good. We're just in the same spot. I only marked a couple of the uh, only marked a couple of spots because they're all in the same area. But we're yeah. There's one line that I keep marking a pretty good school. I get my shit around to go over it, circle back, go over it, circle back, go over it. So that's what we're going to continue to do. Is uh, what the hell is this? Clear cursor there. So yeah, we're just gonna keep going over those. We got one more for our limit. And then we're gonna head in. I wanna try to get some gunshot today. I got a 300 PRC I just had custom built that I'm so excited for. And I wanted to get some range time in. But uh, we'll see, maybe, maybe I won't. But I'm hoping one more fish, one more pass, and then I haul in. All right, hooked up again. 11 feet of water.
right, so we got our limit. I had uh, pretty much the same schools, all I did, picked them apart. We got our six. Nice, healthy fish, nothing huge. Biggest one's probably 24 inches. But that's what we're looking for today. Here comes the fucking snow. Um, yeah, I just pretty much picked apart the same school. Like I always do out here. If I find hungry fish, I don't leave them. But uh, it was a fun morning, about two and a half hours to uh, get our, actually caught seven, threw one back and picked up another one. So they're all pretty cookie cutter fish, but it was a good morning of fishing. We picked them up. Um, I don't know, I, you know, I always try to at least impart something that I learned today. And what I learned today was the same thing I always do every fucking time I'm out here. All these people will just troll through fish. They don't turn around and hit the same ones. If you catch one there, there's more they're feeding. Go back through them, pick up your shit and go back through them for being lazy. But that's it for me today, I'm gonna take off. Um, this will be the first video I've actually posted in probably a couple of years. I got a bunch of content, I just haven't, I think I said that earlier. I just haven't had time to edit it or anything. I got kids, uh, I'm busy as hell with work, a lot of different stuff, but I'm trying to do uh, as much fishing stuff as I can twice a month this year is what I'm trying to do on one of the Great Lakes. So I'm gonna stick out here in Erie till early May post spawn, and then I'm gonna head over to Lake Michigan and start picking Kings and Bar out of St. Joe's, South Haven. Well, it's only an hour drive for me, so in between work schedule and all that. But I was right on the edge. I don't know if you can see this or not. I don't know how well it'll show up in video, but it's a pretty obvious mud line. That's right where the so we'll actually see if I can pull this conclusion video off. Um, the batteries keep fucking dying on me. I left them in here in the pack. I had them charged, but apparently it just, they just wasted away. Some of them are aftermarket too, so they're complete shit on my Hero 10. But we're getting ready, big snowstorm. Looks like it's coming in behind us, if you can tell. It's been snowing a little bit. My wife said it's snowing like a son of a bitch at home. So the St. Patty's Day, going home for some walleye cleaning, corned beef and cabbage. Tail. We shot a bunch. I got a bunch of property. It's a pain in the ass to video. 